I want to do a quick video today to say thank you to you guys for the last year. Some of you may or may not know, but one year ago today, I made the decision to leave my day job of seven years with benefits and salary and pension and awesome coworkers and everything to dive headfirst in and do this show full time. And it has been an amazing year. In fact, it's been a little bit of a blur and it flew by so fast. I almost didn't realize that we were at the one year point until somebody pointed this out to me the other day. And I wanted to do a quick video just to say thank Thanks to you guys uh, for all of your support. I couldn't do this if I didn't have an audience, and I have the most amazing audience ever. You guys are really incredible. And just to give you a little backstory about this, and I want to talk a little bit about the last year, um, I started pulling some stats and some numbers on this. And as you all know, I distribute this show on two platforms. Um, you can watch these on YouTube, or you can also watch the videos and subscribe in iTunes and download them to your computer through the Apple Store. And I have more stats, obviously, from from the uh, YouTube side of things, because iTunes, really, I can just track downloads and that's about it. But the numbers have been pretty amazing over the last year. First of all, I've done 146 videos in the last 365 days, and that kind of blows my mind. Um, that's a really daunting number, and I even double-checked it, and yeah, it's accurate. I've done about 146 videos. And it's been so much fun, I never really thought of it as doing almost 150 videos. I mean, it was just let's just do this, come up with topics and try to figure out how many different things we can talk about and have fun doing it and have discussions with, with you guys. And it's been amazing. It's been a wonderful conversation. Uh, just to give you some of the numbers too, um, on YouTube last year, when I left the museum, I was at a little over 150,000 subscribers. And in one year, I've got about 50,000 subscribers. So right now, today, we're at 108 something. And I, you know, that's an amazing show of support from you guys. And it really blows my mind. Uh, in terms of views, um, just in the last year, I've had 2.8 million views, almost 2.9 million views on YouTube. On iTunes, we've had 1.3 million views. And that number blows my mind even more. I mean, that's cumulative of all the videos I've done, but it's still a lot of views. Um, the average views per day that I get, uh, you know, it's hard to say because it'll spike if, depending on whether I've launched a video or whether, you know, depending on how popular the topic is that the video I'm doing is. But, you know, I was getting on an average of about 5,000 views a day cumulative um, last year when I left my job. And the last month we've had around 14,000 views a day. So that's almost tripled. And I just, you know, I really don't look at the numbers a lot because I'm busy enough producing a show. And when I stop to do it, it just kind of blows me away. Um, just to give you a little background on the show, you know, and I've said this before, I never expected to have 20 people watching the show, much less 108,000. And that really blows my mind. Um, if you don't know the backstory on this and how I started and decided to do this, I was working at the Dallas Museum of Art. I just started there. And this was around 2008. And at the time, they were wanting to do more with online video. Video was something I'd always wanted to do, uh, but I'd never been able to do because it was very expensive. And this was right around the time that consumer camcorders were coming down in price. And so I remember going over to Best Buy and like spending $1,000 on the cheapest camcorder I could get because I wanted to learn how to do video. And I did that. And I did that for the museum. I did artist interviews. We put together promos for things. And it was an amazing ride. But I started this show as a side project because I really didn't know what I was doing. I was a photographer. I understood how to do still images, but I really didn't understand elements of capturing audio really well for video and how to do things and how to edit and learn the ins and outs of the whole thing. And so I started this show because I wanted to have a little project where I could mess up and make mistakes and nobody would really know. And I wanted to put it online and I wanted to share it with people because that would put pressure on me to make it as good as I could uh, with the limited skill set that I had at that time. And that's exactly what I did. And I didn't expect that I'd have 20 people watching it. And then all the next thing I know, it's starting to snowball and a lot of people are starting to watch the show. And we started to do meetups and we started to do all these things and I would get contacted by people. Or then all of a sudden I'm having conversations on Twitter with people who watch the show, which still happens today. Uh, and that's exciting to me. And what happened was it snowballed so much that last year uh, I was getting to a boiling point and I was either going to have to choose one or the other. It had to be the day job or doing the show. Because what would happen is I would go spend 40 hours a week um, at work, which I enjoyed, and then I would come home in the evening, I'd rush home, grab something to eat, and I'd immediately start researching an episode or trying to record something or trying to put stuff together. And it got to be where it was just overwhelming and too much and I felt like I wasn't committing enough time to do either one of them very well and I wanted to change that. And there was 
A boiling point for me, and I know the story's getting long, but I just wanted to share this. So last year I went to something called VidCon, which is the big online video conference uh, that goes down in California every year. So I was in Anaheim, this was a little over a year ago because it was earlier last year. I was in Anaheim and I remember I was sitting in this room and it was a panel discussion with six people on it. It was a really small room, but it was some big names on this panel discussion. And it was Hank and John Green, it was the Fine Brothers, and it was Rhett and Link. And they were talking, the subject was uh, running a studio that did online video. And being from Dallas and being in the museum world, and it's a little slower than other things sometimes, even though Dallas is a very metropolitan place, but I didn't realize that there were people doing that and that you could have a whole studio run around doing several channels. And at that point, I remember sitting there thinking, this is what I love to do. I love engaging with this audience. I reach more people doing this. This is what I'm gonna do. And I came back to Dallas and two weeks later, I turned in my notice. Actually, I think it was on Friday, I turned in my two week notice and I haven't looked back. And that was kind of a scary move because it was a leap of faith. I wasn't sure whether I could do it or not. And as you can see by the numbers here, the last year has been amazing. And I feel like I'm just getting started and we're just starting to go on things. So really, I'm telling you the story and I wanted to do this video because you guys are at the core of that. I wouldn't have this channel and I wouldn't do these shows if I didn't have an audience. Uh, there would be no reason to, and you guys make it worthwhile for me to keep going. Um, I've made a lot of friends with people over the years that I've met doing this show, um, and that is really special to me. Um, getting to know some of you guys, and a lot of people have given to this show. Some people have given their time, some people have donated money to the show, uh, some people have hooked me up with resources that I wouldn't have had otherwise because I didn't know the right people, and I really owe everything to you guys as an audience. And a couple other quick people to thank. Um, I've had an enormous amount of awesome people help spread the word about this show over the last year. Imaging Resource, Petapixel, um, ISO 1200, SLR Lounge, all the big blogs that have covered the show from time to time, um, all the people who have covered this on Reddit, the people who have tweeted the videos, shared them on Facebook and social media. It's just, it's really humbling because I don't ask for those things. Those are things that people just find something cool about and they're willing to share. And it means a lot to me. And so I just wanted to do a quick heartfelt video today to tell you guys thank you. And I I really appreciate it. It's been an amazing year and uh, let's see what next year does because it's just going to get more amazing. Uh, just so you'll know, VidCon has come around again and I'm going back again this year because it meant so much to me last year. It's a weird conference but it's pretty amazing. I'm going to be in Los Angeles for an entire week this year and I will keep you guys posted. We will do a meetup and it'll be on Sunday, June, sorry, Sunday, July 26th. In case you're watching this later, this was 2015. Uh, we will do a meetup and I will put a special video up as soon as I have all the details on that in the coming days, but you can go ahead and say that Sunday evening, the 26th, we will do a meetup in LA. And I'll also be speaking on Monday, the 27th at General Assembly at 630, and it's free to come. And I'll announce this again, just so you guys know, and you can come check it out. And I really appreciate all the support. And this is going to be a pretty fun year, I think, in Los Angeles. I'm going to be there a whole week. The week is jam-packed. I've got some big surprises for the show that I'm working on. That's why I'm staying the entire week, and it's just going to be a lot of fun. So anyway, once again, guys, if you enjoyed this video or any of the others in this channel, please keep sharing them with all of your friends. And as always, subscribe. And if this is the first video you've ever seen um, that we've done here, um, please consider subscribing and being with us as we move into the future with more awesome stuff that is yet to come. Anyway, guys, this has been another episode of The Art of Photography. I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.